from RV Lifestyle Magazine. I'm here in uh, London, Ontario at Can-Am RV with Andy Thompson. Andy is our Hitchens guru for the RV Lifestyle Magazine. Uh, has been for 35, 40 years. Yeah, and Andy, 1987, and your dad taught me how to evaluate RVs. So yeah. your dad taught me how to do RV road tests. Yeah way back in 1971 or 72. Andrew is the 2021 Canadian RV Dealer of the Year, yeah. which is an award uh, that is an award. Uh, nominations come from the peers, the uh, RVDA of Canada member dealers across the country, and they are, uh, the decision is made by a panel of five previous Canadian RV Dealer of the Year award recipients yeah. and uh, RV Lifestyle Magazine is delighted to be the founding sponsor of the Canadian RV Dealer of the Year award and Andy it, it, it's a marvelous achievement and uh, thank you so much well, for you. bringing all of your expertise to the magazine. Well I enjoy doing it it's, uh, it's been a great learning exercise over the years and always keeps you up to date on things. Yeah, it has. You know, you and I both had a lot more hair when we started doing this stuff. Yes, that's... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so today, uh, which is uh, middle of February 2022, we are sitting in a 2022 Lance Camper travel trailer. This is a model 1995. Yeah. And this is a beautiful unit. This would be a high-end travel trailer. Uh, the fit and finish is just outstanding. The features are just beautiful, but Andy, you're the expert. Tell me what your favorite aspects of this particular yeah, trailer are. It's, well, yeah, it's our top selling uh, Lance model. It's, mm -hmm. uh, and they're all fairly even, but this one every year is pretty much number one. I think one thing that Lance does really well is this dinette we're sitting in. Yeah, this is usually a dinette isn't the most comfortable place to sit. Where this, you can easily swing the TV around, spend a, an evening in here, lounging in this dinette, watching TV. So they're doing double duty with this space to keep the size of the trailer down. It's also a really deep slide out, so you yeah, can take a lot of slide out. This this would seem to be. What about? Uh, it's 42 inches. 42 inches. It goes slides yeah. up 42 yeah. inches. The That's one, really amazing. The one thing I always perceived as a bit of a negative is this step up into the slide that you have mm -hmm. in here. Uh, but when uh, Heather and I actually picked one of these up at the factory in California and used it for a few weeks, we, we discovered that actually this works really well because it almost becomes, when you're preparing dinner and that, an extra counter space that's more usable than the normal height dinette. Mm -hmm. it, uh, so it, it's turned out the negative was a positive. The reason it's elevated is so that there can be a wheel well and that keeps the overall height of the trailer down and makes it tow much easier. And that's uh, so that's why you have to elevate it. So it's a worthwhile trade-off for the, the yeah. So the, going and having the, wheel well that affects the center of gravity. It yeah. affects the weight distribution, and all of this is reflected in the towability of the vehicle. That's correct. Yeah. And uh, this vehicle tracks beautifully because it's balanced so well. Yeah, they're uh, they're an excellent towing, very nicely done trailer. Of course, all Asdell in the walls and that, so you virtually never see a delamination or anything. In yes, and not only that, Asdell. Uh, is impervious to the infestations of the various bugs and things that you tend to get when you're down in the, in the warmer mm -hmm. climates. Yeah. You know, so... Uh, well, and being built in California, they have lots of experience with that. Yeah, and now, again, it, now that's we do, premium components. Like most trailers, but when we do the PDI, we do some extra sealing on them. As I said, they're built in the desert, so we have to accommodate <laughs> that, but uh, that's, uh, that's nothing unusual for us. I, virtually every trailer we sell, we do that. There's uh, and uh, yeah, and we've been very pleased. We've had the Lance trailers now for what, about seven years, mm -hmm. and uh, very, uh, very, very few problems. Uh, people that buy them are quite pleased. Uh, not a lot of uh, 
No, there's anything. not a lot of things. So, Andy, this is a really, really nice looking trailer. It's earth tones. Mm -hmm. There are, I would imagine, a full range of decor selections and yeah. fabrics and upholstery. There's three different uh, selections, uh, but what the fabrics are made of is nice. So it's not the typical bonded leather that will tend to shred in a few years. This, this stuff will last probably just about indefinitely. And they got the diamond stitch pattern on the back. Yeah, that's it's nice. Just a nice subtle look mm -hmm. to it. The um, bed's got a, the mattress is a higher end mattress with a pillow top. Very comfortable, so you don't have to just throw that away first day and get another one. And it's got, the bed lifts and it's got gas assist. Yeah. Which is, I mean, it's not even fingertip, it's just. Yeah. It works a little Head easier up, than a lot up. of them do. Oh, it works very easily, yeah. And, you know, when we looked under the bed, they give you a package of uh, roof vent insulators. Yep. Uh, these, these are like vinyl squares that snap padded, into place, yep. padded vinyl, insulated. They snap into place over the lumidomes, and that well, serves many functions. It's insulation. Yep. In cold weather, it makes a surprising difference. And then if you like it dark when you sleep in in the morning, well, you can have those on there, and it makes the unit a lot darker. And yeah. But, yeah, but they're yeah, just one of those extra little touches they do that really is kind of nicely thought out. Yeah, so, and you know, when we're and talking about... that probably about comes back to what you were talking about, where the people that build them actually use them. They use them. And oh, I, absolutely. And, and you know, that's so refreshing, because some of the manufacturers have never spent a night in their vehicles. Yeah, yeah, that's pretty common. We know, we know quite a number of them, uh, but not the Lance guys. When you're talking about light control, the shades, like, like this shade that we're sitting in front of, uh, we have it up. So the the lighting on the video is much better, but you've got you've got a uh, a yeah. translucent shade yeah. here, so there, well, and that's you've the got window screen. a sc window screen here, yeah. and this is also an emergency exit. Yeah. So and you can spread that, and then when you, you pull this view. up, and then you can actually climb out the window. If you, now I have had to do that once. Yeah. And you can. Uh, and on this one, there's actually that'd be probably your last window to choose because the, there's the two huge bedrooms windows that were, would be very easy yeah, to find. Yeah, when, you, when you put when you put your your leg out, you yeah. don't have to scratch your ear with your foot. Yeah, uh, because you're a lot closer to the ground if you climb out of the emergency exits in the bedroom. But it depends upon yeah. what side you're on. Yeah, if, if sure. the vehicle should should be in a situation where you have to get out. Yeah. I've uh, never had a customer have to do that, other than a couple of times I've had door locks break, so they've got it, the emergency exit. But that's that's, about the that's exactly yeah. what happened. I was doing a road test, 40 degrees below zero, and at that temperature, it doesn't matter if it's Fahrenheit or centigrade, same thing, and at, at a dealer's lot. And I said, oh, no, I'll do all the interior photos. You go back into the, into the dealership, have a cup of coffee ready for me. And we closed the door, and when we closed the door, I could not get out. Yeah. The only way I could get out of that trailer was to go out the egress window. Yeah. Oh. And that and was before it, you had the cell phone, you could call somebody. There were no, so, no <laughs> cell phones <laughs> in those days. The door and, and the funny thing is, I got out of the trailer, I went back in, and I put all the cushions and everything back. I closed the window, I closed the blinds, everything made it perfect. And then I heard the door slam behind me, and I had to climb out the window again. again. Yeah. <laughs> but this is what happens when you're in the business 50 years. Yeah. So that's only lost. once in 50 years, so... Yeah, it's not bad. Okay. So, Andy, could you just uh, describe your favorite features of the vehicle? Let's start as if we're just walking in the door. Those yeah. steps outside are really nice, really interesting aluminum steps. Yeah, they do that well. Of course, they're using a European door now with a um, uh, folding uh, screen instead of a swinging screen door. And that's a one-piece molded door that's uh, used on generally on higher-end motorhomes and things like that. It's uh, really a nice feature. The uh, good storage in it, lots of drawers, big closet. Again, by kind of condensing everything into the dinette, you get more room for other things in the trailer. So, you still get the walk around queen bed, you get the big roomy bathroom, and, and then the little touches it's a single lever faucet in the bathroom, it's uh, got the shower with the I can stand up in the shower. 
And then there's uh, the nice folding cloth uh, shower door instead of just a curtain. Yeah, hanging with a magnetic, yeah. uh, magnetic yeah. Uh, fixation. Um, suburban stove and range. Uh, something they've done. So for 2022, they've updated the interior decor. Most manufacturers haven't changed anything because they've been so busy. But Lance has done a really nice job of a little bit of a modernization of the interior here. So the microwave, uh, the high point microwaves, hidden behind the the, the storage door. door. Yeah. So it's not sitting there looking at you all the time. The uh, and um, there's a Norcold refrigerator. Lance is still doing a, an absorption gas refrigerator. Almost everything else is going to 12 volt compressor fridges. Yeah. But I think boondocking is such a big thing for their customers. They've stuck with the uh, the propane for now anyway. Mm -hmm. And there's uh, yeah, so a lot of things really nicely done on that. The other change for Lance for 2022 is ducted air conditioning. Uh, they finally gave in to the pressure. They always had a laminated roof with the central discharge AC unit, but everybody's mm -hmm. asking for ducted air. So for uh, 2022, it has ducted roof air. The, uh, yeah. yeah, we turned that on. Yeah, it's fairly quiet. Yeah, yeah and then, of course, a fantastic fan uh, up in the bedroom area. And we can add another one in the living area if you want, but usually one's enough of the, of the fantastics. Of course, it has the European windows that are all double layer Lexan. Mm -hmm. uh, you can get this really nice clear view out of them because the screen goes out of the way when you're not, uh, uh, don't need the screen. Then double sinks and again another single lever tap in the kitchen area. Yeah, with, that's, uh, that's all, yeah. residential quality uh, yeah. faucet set. Yeah. And you've got two uh, sink tops yeah. uh, that come out. Uh, and that gives you uh, additional kitchen yeah, counter space. Yeah, so that whole counter is completely flush with the glass top on the stove and the yes. Yeah, I like the glass top on the stove. That's really cool. Yeah. And then uh, all of the uh, all the controls are accessible on a panel uh, just above the uh, the stove, yeah. yes. which is very cool. Uh, the lighting is really nice, easy to turn on. The switches are great uh, in the bedroom. There are these little tiny little lights, uh, his and hers, I guess. Reading lights. The yeah. reading lights. They're really really nice, and you've got you've got all of the plugs that you could possibly the USBs, need. USBs, yeah, USB twelve volt. Yeah, USBs twelve volt. All kinds of cool stuff, and I really like that there's a privacy curtain that slides right across the bedroom area. Yeah. So I guess if you don't feel like making the bed in the morning or whatever, oh, you, could, you could get a little bit of privacy. One, one person sleeping in too. They could. And of course, the bed lifts up is is often common and with all kinds of storage underneath it. The uh, outside storage is kind of neat on this. There's a, a the, the um, curbside door opens up and there's a big pull-out tray that comes out. That storage goes almost all the way across the unit. On the other side is a completely sealed storage mm -hmm. uh, which will hold a 2000 watt Honda generator. Cool. So you can carry your generator in there and not have to worry about fumes coming into the mm -hmm. trailer. Now you can't run the generator in there, but right below it on the frame there's a padlock, uh, one of the cable locks that you can lock your generator down so mm -hmm. that when you're uh, using it, it's not going to wander away. Mm -hmm. uh, are they doing anything yet with regards to solar power? Well, uh, solar power is an option on them from Lance, so we usually do do it here just because people can select what they want there's mm -hmm. uh, you know every customer has different needs so some people but the unit is, it's pre-wired for the pre-wired for solar yeah yeah, yeah that's right. and most most people get some amount of solar mm -hmm. depending on what they want to do mm -hmm. now with the the rv industry they produced six hundred thousand units last year and they're on pace to set another record uh what would the lead time be if a family wanted to purchase one of these units, how long would it take to get delivery? Well, nobody knows. I think, you know, in any any brand right now with the way the supply chain is and all the things going on, I would not guarantee delivery to anybody at the moment, but Lance is telling us about six months out. Oh, six months, that's not bad. So they're not too bad, you know, whereas some of them are two years out there straight. Yeah. And that, uh, so it's uh, so if so people were to order, yeah. like in February of 2022, there's a good chance they might have it for the summer. Yeah, it, but it's probably going to be end of July or August. Yeah, end of July. Uh, you never know. Mm -hmm. It's uh, we get uh, we had one come in last week that we didn't expect at all. 
mm -hmm. we didn't expect to see it for three months and it, it arrives so amazing it, it's sometimes I think with all of the shortages they're having right now they've got enough stuff to build this one but not that one so this one yeah. gets thrown in the line and all of a sudden it uh, it arrives mm -hmm. and it's uh, that might start to straighten itself out by summer and then all of those lead times could become much oh, shorter. Oh, I, I would think so. I would hope so, but yeah. uh, I said that two summers ago and it, it didn't happen. So oh, yeah. <laughs> it, got, it got worse before it's going to get better. Yeah. Now, uh, as far as Lance is concerned, Lance has a dealer network, complete dealer network across Canada and the United States. Yeah. So anyone purchasing from any Lance dealer, those trailers could be taken care of by any of the other Lance dealers in North America. Yeah, if you're on the road and you have a truck problem, yeah, yeah it's, uh, uh, we have a little different philosophy on that. If somebody's on the road and having trouble, we say just call us first, because sometimes we'll know a shop we've worked with in the area yeah. before, or a mobile well, tech mo or whatever. Well, most, most of the established dealers have connections, yeah. pretty much and, all over North America. And sometimes we could just tell people what, I would say probably, three quarters of the calls we get of people having a problem is just they've forgotten how to use something. Yeah. And things are more complex now than they used to be, so it's easy to forget that. You know, you don't use this thing every single day. Mm -hmm. So it's, all of a sudden you go out and you can't remember what I was supposed to do with this or that. And yeah. Usually a phone call clears it up. Yeah. So that's, uh, and if you go on YouTube and search for Lance Trailer Factory Tour, uh, to see how meticulous the factory workers are where they measure twice before they put in a screw so they're not just using a nail gun helter skelter with the nail guns and they're not running all over the factory yeah. they are everything is measured and it's it's well and you'll hardly precise find a staple hole in this you know it's, no. it's uh, sometimes i wish they took staple guns out of all the factories well here if we they pretty much solved that yeah. there's uh, it, you know, I could say the one that we picked up uh, right from the factory in uh, California. They, it was, uh, I put propane in it. We used it for three weeks out there. Brought it back. I had a list of three items, very minor, to repair on it. Yeah. So that's that's pretty neat to be able to do oh, that yeah. right oh, out yeah. of the factory. Yeah. Well, usually the PDI that's done at a dealership on the the run of the mill trailer could take a couple of days. Oh, easily, yeah. yeah. And they, uh, and. The, uh, well, the the joke is sometimes the, the dealership's the last 100 feet of the assembly line. The last line. 100 feet of the assembly <laughs> line, yeah, and the quality control. Yeah. Not at Lance, though. No, it's very well done. And, you know, there, of course, um, people may not realize Lance is the largest producer of truck campers in the world, and no, no RV is more weight-sensitive than a truck camper because yes. of the height of it and, and you're dealing with the GVWR on the truck. So they, they've got all that technology and understanding of how to build something really well, build it light and weight, and uh, the, uh, so they've done that well with this, and kept the aerodynamics good. There's lots of trailers that are light, but they've got them 11 feet in the air, and yeah. oh, not yes. nearly as nice to tow as they could be. But the really worried. fascinating thing about Lance, and uh, if you search our RV Lifestyle YouTube channel, you'll see a, a video I did several years ago uh, with one of the Lance reps, and we were talking about, I believe it was their 650 truck camper. Mm -hmm. uh, and it was a, a SEMA show prototype show unit. Uh, but the only difference was it had, it had an applique yeah. to match the, uh, the yellow and black truck that it was on. And the thing with the Lance uh, corporate staff is they're all campers. Yeah. And they'll go out into the desert with the truck campers and with the trailers. And with, when they come back, if there are any things that have to be attended to but from an engineering perspective, they're fixed. Yeah. No. You know, and uh, we've had we've had a very, very good relationship with Lance the, uh, uh, for, oh, 25, 30 years since we first met them. The, uh, the fellow who runs Lance actually still owns his original 89 Lance yeah. uh, camper. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's amazing. Uh, so getting back to this particular travel trailer. Now, uh, we just towed this in and around the country roads in, in the London, Ontario area. Uh, we had a, well, we had a Toronto blizzard yesterday. Yeah. Uh, better part of almost a foot a of snow. A light snow in there. Al almost, a foot, yeah. almost a foot <laughs> of snow. Uh, this would have been referred to back in Montreal, my hometown, as flurries. Yeah. That's right. uh, in Toronto, of course, was a blizzard. So uh, the tow vehicle that you decided would be interesting to use to do our road test 
was a Chrysler 300, yeah. which is a, a wonderful sedan. And people think that you have to have a, a half ton or, or three quarter yeah. ton truck to tow a trailer. Yeah. But the Chrysler is actually an outstanding tow vehicle. Yeah, it's, um, yeah, you know, the 300 is well proven now. We've been using 300 since 2005 to tow with and it was refreshed in 2012 basically it's still by the same car today as the one we were driving the 3.6 liter 300 horse v6 with the 8 speed zf transmission I, I, that car if you keep your speed reasonable it'll run 36 37 mile to the gallon solo on the highway yeah and uh, it, it'll tow the lancier along at about 15 miles to the gallon it's uh very very stable because it's got a low center of gravity it's got four-wheel independent suspension comes out of the factory with the perfect tie size tire and wheel for towing uh, the um, just need the hitch and the wiring on it and you've got a great tow vehicle it's uh, uh, but people don't buy them that much because these days everybody wants an SUV for some reason yeah but you know realistically yeah, yeah it real it, logically the car makes more sense it has better mileage the one thing I like about a uh, sedan is the stuff I carry in the back, I put in the trunk and I don't hear it rattle and it's, mm -hmm. uh, it's secure, uh, but, um, but you know, uh, I know that most people that buy this are going to tow it with a Oh, they'll tow it with a, a, yeah, an F-150 F or a 250, yeah, they'll tow it with a, a mid-size SUV. Yeah, most of these that we sell go out on things like uh, Chevy Traverses, Buick Enclaves, um, uh, Ford Explorers. Mm -hmm. That seems to be the more common uh, tow vehicle for these. That's, mm -hmm. uh, and it makes a it makes a very nice package. There's no reason it not is a nice to use package. One. And, uh, Absolutely. Like now, in order to tow with the Chrysler 300, what hitch did you put on? Well, we uh, we buy a hitch that's uh, off the shelf, uh, a draw tight, I believe, mm -hmm. and then uh, it's draw tight or a Kurt. And then we strengthen that hitch, so we extend the it under Kurt. Yeah, yeah. And then we extend that hitch up underneath to the in between the rear wheels, so that when we do up the weight distribution bars, it's got something to work with to transfer the weight with, which we do on most vehicles. There's so you reinforce the hitch attachment to the actual car. That's right. Yeah. And, and the um, the society, and I've mentioned this in the column before, but the Society of Automotive Engineers standard for the torque the weight distribution hitch has to withstand is really inadequate. So basically we're making up for that lack in that standard. Mm -hmm. We're making it able to withstand much more. So Andrew, thank you so much. Hey, thank you for coming down today. It was lots of fun. It's always a pleasure to come and visit you at Can-Am RV in London, Ontario. And uh, the first time I've had a chance to actually come and visit and congratulate you on the Canadian RV Dealer of the Year Award, yeah. Yeah. which is a, a wonderful achievement. And uh, it's always a pleasure. Thank you. Thank you so much. We'll see you soon. And take a look at RV Lifestyle Magazine website, www.rvlifemag.com, and you will soon see the road test report on this vehicle. And you'll also have access to our digital editions of the magazines. Look up in the menu bar where it says magazines. Click on magazines. When the page opens, scroll down and look at, we have probably 50 or 60 back issues of the magazines in our archives. Click on any of the covers. And if you're prompted for a password, now our subscribers have their own private passwords. If you're prompted for a password and you want to watch our digital edition online, all capital letters are VL free 2017. And that's my personal gift to you from February 22. <laughs> Enjoy the magazines. Enjoy the website, enjoy the YouTube channel, and enjoy your adventures on the RV routes of North America. And we'll look forward to seeing you again in our next video coming out in a couple of weeks.